So here again is part two of the for the overlocker, the 3034 and the 2104. So we've in the previous video we've got the loopers um, threaded and through. I've threaded the orange thread all very quick and simple straight down across over this is the important bit that the left needle goes to the left of the separator plate this piece here that keeps the threads um, or splits the threads at this point ready to go through to the needle it's important that they don't tangle as they go down um, or wrap around each other so it's important orange on the left and then the pink on the right we come down now I like to use tweezers um, for threading the eyes of the needle it's it's much I find I find it much easier you do what you think but um, I find it easier you can lean on the front of the machine you can hold the tweezers very very steady and on top of that there's no fingers in the way so you can see the thread and the eye very clearly when you pop the thread through equally you can grab the thread very easily and pull it through again this thread goes around the blade and then we can pull it through out of the back of the machine as described in the previous video we can't operate this machine not even by hand unless the presser foot is down we lower the presser foot and the same as a sewing machine we're going to turn the, the, the hand wheel towards ourselves and we can watch the operation so the upper loopers going across it's retracting back across the front of the needles it lowers the lower looper which is out of sight comes across the back of the needles picks up the needle threads then as the upper looper this one lifts it picks the thread off the back of the lower looper and goes up and across the front of the machine across the needles and then the cycle repeats so the thread is being formed around the stitch finger which is this thicker piece which is removable to do rolled hems and also two stitch pins which stick out from the needle plate it's important that the stitch pins are, are there as they support the fabric as the stitch is being formed the stitch finger can be removed as said to do rolled hem but for standard overlocking um, it's always in place now the stitch width is controlled by this dial and if we turn this dial we can see the blade move in and out so the needles don't move in stitch width just the blade so you cut off more or less fabric to give you a more a, a, a wider or narrower stitch important with um, brother overlockers the stitch finger moves with the blade so the you don't get as much overhang with brother overlockers as you do with uh, some other um, machines so that's the stitch width in addition to that we've got the differential feed which is um, an experimental um, adjustment that you can use to help control the fabric when you're doing difficult fabrics or stretchy fabrics generally leave it on one and the machine will perform for you uh, at least initially while you get used to it on top of that is the stitch length so we've got R which is for the rolled hem which is very very short stitch um, and then you go two three general setting would be a three and likewise with the stitch width would probably be a six so there we have it the machines all ready to uh, use now the feed dog does stick out from the front of the foot so it's not always necessary to lift and lower the foot every time you want to um, put some fabric in the machine will pull the fabric in to the um, underneath the foot quite happily 
Obviously, if you've got thicker fabrics or more difficult fabrics, do lift the foot. But if you lift the foot, try and make sure the blade is in the upper position as well. If you lift the foot and the blade's low, it can cause a bit of a, bit of a problem. So make sure that that blade is up so that when you feed the fabric in, you're under the foot and the blade. Okay, I hope that's useful.